Joey, thank you no so worries, much for please. coming in. Well, thank you for inviting me. <laughs> now, your face is very, very familiar and people at home might be going, I've seen that young man before. I know. <laughs> I was getting free. I've got a friend's car that uh, gets into the British Museum and I said, uh, oh, I'm Christian. And in this said to me, no, you're Joey from Big Brother. I'm like, no, I'm trying to avoid <laughs> that. I'm so over it. It's two years ago. <laughs> Don't worry, I've let the cat out of the bag now. <laughs> so from Big Brother to book writer, how did that happen? I had written this before I went to the freak show. I called Big Brother the freak show. So it is actually, it's, it's a bit. But I was inspired by this because I was living with two lovely girls. I had fabulous jobs. Pretty, pretty little things, and they were single. I thought, what's going wrong? And then I saw patterns in their behavior that were too available. So I started writing, but Big Brother is a great, great platform, so I got noticed because of Big Brother, and they gave me a contract. So I've written, now I'm writing the second one, actually. Wow, so too available, who'd have thought it? What, what makes someone too available? Well, you know, I suppose women are too eager to please, like, the most simple thing is somebody sends you a text message. It's very, very impolite not to reply, but you have to reply after for three hours and this is what you know you have to understand men enjoy the chase what I'm saying in the book is men are hunter-gatherers we have primitive instincts going back to the ice age we were living in caves hunting mammoths the mammoths didn't come with a mini skirt in the cave say come and get me no they had to go and chase it and that's what women have to understand men enjoy the chase that's why I'm saying trip them in keep them keep right so next time you receive a text message from a man you set your alarm three hours later you're allowed to respond but you end up spending three hours sitting there changing your re reply and stuff like that because I need to respond straight away. Well, there was a whole American school of thought I mean there is a lot of books written about the rules is the most famous one basically I read every available book on psychology body language relationships and I got the best ideas so what what I try to do is take them by the hand and say okay this is how you get over your ex this is a premium hunting grounds you can go and get a man and this is the body language signals you'll have to send and then we're going through the dating process first date second date I mean if this book doesn't get them a man nothing will I mean <laughs> I'm pretty sure does it come back with a money guarantee yes no, I've got my email inside the book so if they want to complain send me all your stories and complaints I mean I believe in you know in this advice I'm giving there is only one problem treat them in keep them keen is a little bit unpleasant like, advice what I'm telling them is not nice things that's why it had to be very very funny I have to admit the first draft was good advice but it wasn't funny so I had to rewrite it four times to make it funny otherwise they wouldn't they wouldn't accept it it's too miserable stuff what I'm saying to them so All treat them mean keep them keen sit on your phone for three hours when someone texts you well, that's um, one any, tip only. any other tips well the one which is proving very controversial and loose women on ITV were making a big fuss about it is I'm actually saying women wait for three months until you actually jump into bed with a man you have to understand you know, you have to date around, don't sleep around. You know, if you want to get married, this is wedding TV, you shouldn't perceive it as an easy target. Men appreciate, you know, be elusive, not loose. That's what I'm saying. Okay. So they have to wait, and there should be a gradual process. And I know it's, it sounds dated and sounds, you know, anti-feminist, but no, this is the fact. Men don't go for women that are too easy. eager, too easy and too eager. Do you think it's the fault of, of Sex and the City, Carrie and Co? We well, just... I'm a big fan of Sex and the City. And actually, while I was writing the book, I went through the entire six series, you know, back to back on DVD. <laughs> but um, no, I don't think it's that. I think, you know, we have to acknowledge the female sexuality at the end of the day. Women have urges. But if you want to marry, if you want to have a relationship, you have to wait. It's simple as that. The, the good thing with me is being gay, I get the perspective of men and women. My girlfriends tell me things they wouldn't dare to tell their girlfriends. And I have my male straight friends that tell me, they tell me all the, you know, they tell me what I, do you know what came first as the most annoying thing women do on a date and it annoys men? Talk about their ex-partners. Yes! <laughs> <laughs> How do you know? Have you read the book? No, I haven't read the book. No. It's on actually, yeah, this is the number one. But I have done it in the past, and I know it's unacceptable. It's not good. Do not talk about your ex-boyfriends. It doesn't make them jealous. It just makes them, you know, oh, it's horrible. You're spot on, actually. That's really good. And also talking also about work problems, family problems. That's why you have friends. Make their life hell. When you're going out on a date, you do not get your man all this you know all this information call your friends and when they have problems they will call you don't tell 
a man you just met all your problems. Well, Jerry, thank you thank so, you much, so much, much for all of those fantastic tips and coming <laughs> in. And uh, where can our viewers get this? Well, question? everywhere. It's on Waterstones, is we did Asda, and unfortunately not W. H. Smith yet. But, you know, Amazon is pretty good as well. Brilliant. Well, make sure you get yourself a copy. Thank you so <laughs> My much. My pleasure.